Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Murdered Soul Suspect, part 14. Still around and kicking. Uh, it's gonna be freaking demons in here, I already know it. Alright, so, we just recently discovered Baxter is dead. He was killed by the Bell Killer. And, um, while he was trying to track him down, obviously. And then we put together some clues, figuring out that the Bell Killer may have been the little girl that we seen all the way at the beginning of the game. However, I personally believe that just like the, um, them assuming Baxter was the killer, that she won't actually be the killer simply because the game is telling me she is. You know, you always surprisingly find out who the killer is. You never actually guess. But, um, that being said, a lot of things do seem linked to her based on her past and the things that she's done, apparently. The symbol that she created is a symbol that the Bell Killer uses, and the methods that the Bell Killer uses to kill is the methods that um, they use to kill witches. So pretty much the hunch right now is that um, the little girl, I can't remember her name, so I apologize, but the little girl that you meet actually was like killed in the 1600s or something like that, I believe. And she, we believe she has joy and she's taking joy to the history museum to kill her uh, on the... I think she's trying to hang her? Oh, snap. Okay, um... Big news, everybody. This is the final encounter. Uh, holy crap, okay. I don't think I left anything behind. There was a bunch of... Collectibles I missed. to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. All in all, I can't possibly be the only person who's surprised that this girl is actually the one who could be potentially capable of this. I mean, when you think about it, the little girl isn't a full-sized man, so how is she capable of this? Joy! Ronan, help! Not another step. Oh. No, not you, Rex. No fucking way. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up! Stop what you're doing. Hands up! Do it now! <laughs> Ouch! Oh. Abigail, stop! I'm trying to be shit. What are you doing? Not now. This was you. Didn't want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! Wait. What? Hold tight, kid. I'm on my way. Is Abigail possessing him, or is he possessing other people? Oh no, it's gonna be impossible to get to her. What can stop Abigail? Um... That, right? The powerful screen. I 
thought that'd work. Okay, so it was Abigail. It's over, Abigail. I assume that was not the uh, preferred ending. <laughs> oh god, can I really not skip? Okay, thank you. Jeez. Alright. That's obviously this one. How do I do something effective? No! 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 Joy! So this is what it's gonna be. Me constantly watching Joy die over and over again like some crazy... Be right back. Oh, really? It was that easy? The time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sins. This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? Two can play at that game. I know the truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. But why kill me? How could Rex have done it? Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Baxter. Interesting. Why kill me? Why did you kill How Baxter? How about that? I eventually kill all the killers I use. Especially the ones who get close to the truth. Wait. That means that she had to have used me as a killer at one point. I've already figured this shit out. She used me to kill my own wife. I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? I was close, all right? No. I wouldn't. No. No, no, I... I wouldn't. How could I? You made me kill her. If 
I'm going out. You're coming with me. That's what I'm saying. Get that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Get that bitch. <laughs> wow. That girl was like fucking 500 years old. I'm surprised that she was able to be outsmarted so easily. This would have been awesome if I had killed my own wife. It would have been a lot better that way. Just saying. I did know that I killed someone. We all got a dark side. Sometimes obvious. Sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> She might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom, well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. She alive. Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. Truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. So now will I transcend into the heavens as a beautiful mm -hmm. angel? Way to go, Square Enix. Way to go. Can I skip this? I'm not really the type of person who's like, oh, I don't care about the credits, but I'm afraid they're going to play music, and then I'm going to have to go through the extra effort to mute it. So, ah, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Well, guys, that was the end of the game. Um, I didn't expect this last episode to be so short. I didn't realize I was that close to the ending. I mean... This was my 14th episode on it, and, you know, I usually make episodes about 20 to 30 minutes long, so I suppose, you know, I've done a good, what, six, six seven hours, close something to that, of gameplay? Granted, I didn't find all the clues, I didn't do everything I could have, but holy crap, I'll be damned if that was such an unexpected ending. I, I had me second-guess myself a few times there at the very end. Because I didn't think Abigail would actually be the killer. Because I didn't understand how she could be. But it's, I guess being a spirit as long as she was. That she was able to have a stronger amount of influence on people than, well, I was. But at the same time, it, I'm so confused. Like, why would she help me at the beginning? And I wonder if this is related to, like, the symbols I've seen her drawing at the beginning of the game, and then I touched the wall and made him appear. I wonder if that was like a kind of a subtle hint that if you went back and looked at, that it would be obvious. But man, this whole game had me just—I didn't know who. I had no clue who the Bell Killer was. I will say this: I said this before, and I'll say it again. This would have been really, really cool if it turned out that the Abigail used me to kill my own wife. That would have been a great twist. However, at the same time, it would have been expected, obviously, because I called it out but the fact that it maybe it was so expected that they 
purposely made it where that wasn't the scenario because then obviously everyone would have known and then they're like oh no you just drowned that one girl instead of course under the influence of abigail but man so much mind blow <laughs> i struggled a little bit at the end there i i kept thinking to myself you know how this game was going to end with a boss fight because it said the final encounter i was like what and as far as bosses go it wasn't really like big battle but at the same time nothing about this game really was about that it was like it was definitely an interactive story much like um walking dead was you know it's not really about action i mean walking dead did have like shooting zombies and smashing their heads open and stuff but for the most part it was all about you know us telling a story and that's what this game was i really enjoyed this game very much i'm actually kind of sad to see it's over uh because I was really having a lot of fun with it, and I didn't think that this moment would come, like, so soon, even though it's been, like, six or seven hours of gameplay, but... Anyways, I, I have these choky moments where I get all choked up about it, and I, uh... I just, um, didn't really expect it to end, you know, just so abruptly, out of nowhere. But anyways everything the world keeps spinning i guess i just gotta find a different game to play i hope you guys enjoyed watching this like always like comment and subscribe on my videos if you'd like to keep up with my content and see other playthroughs like this one so until next time guys take it easy